Once upon a time, nature sent water from the Kissimmee River Basin and Watershed through Lake Okeechobee, then south to the Everglades. Flood control changed all that, and man-made canals started sending water east and west, and it's had a disastrous impact on water quality for Treasure Coast waterways and the Everglades. On the right, though, you see one big answer to the problem, send more water, clean water, south. Well, the work to make that happen is finally underway after decades of delay, and I went to Western Palm Beach County to give you an up-close look. They look, to me anyway, like mechanical dinosaurs, clawing, scratching, drinking from the earth, roaming and reshaping our water future. This is 6,500 acres. Construction management engineer Tim Harper oversees this massive enterprise for the South Florida Water Management District. It's gonna clean water, move it down south to the Florida Everglades. It sounds simple and is the furthest thing from it. Punching through coral to carve out new canals means blasting work, lots of it. Pretty cool. It's a rush. You just saw 20,000 pounds of explosives at work. This is the uh, stormwater treatment area that's 6,500 acres, and adjacent to that is a reservoir. The project size is about the size of Manhattan. Here's how the plumbing will work. Water coming south from Lake Okeechobee, about 12 miles away, down the Miami Canal, and then that water will come into an inflow canal being built in the blast area you see here today, and eventually that water heads into a stormwater treatment area, old farmland that's been purchased. Fresh vegetation will be put there, allowing the water to be filtered and that clean water to then head south into the Everglades. Here's what it looks like on the map. Lake Okeechobee, the water south down the Miami Canal, feeding the lattice work of canals into the storm treatment area and that clean water south into the glades. This nearby water basin resembles what the finished stormwater treatment area will look like with clean water able to flow, engineers say, at up to 800 cubic feet per second. 800 CFS is about 50,000 garden hoses turned down at the same time at full blast. The stormwater treatment area, or STA, is scheduled to be operational in late 2024, but that's only the start of work here. There's still the reservoir you've heard so much about. One of the largest projects that we have ever undertaken, probably one of the largest environmental projects in the United States. A 10,500 acre reservoir with first work starting this fall. It will sit next to the new STA and once finished within the next decade by the Army Corps of Engineers, it will be filled 20 feet deep with water from Lake Okeechobee, piped in by the two canals you see on the map, left and right. That water too will go into the STA to be cleaned and sent south. This is a critical component of being able to reduce the harmful discharges that go to the east and west. Potential salvation for the long-battered St. Lucie Estuary and Indian River Lagoon. Perhaps a new lease on life for the Everglades and Florida Bay. And the hope that Floridians will be able to come here to enjoy a rejuvenated river of grass. What's it like to be, as a dad, part of a project that's going to have such a big impact? Oh, it's exciting. I, I can't wait to, take, to finish this project and take my daughters out. We'll go fishing, we'll go kayaking. I can't wait to use this facility with them. It's gonna be an incredible recreation feature. All told, this is an estimated three and a half billion dollar project, a 50-50 split between state and federal money. Now, sugar growers have filed a lawsuit saying the Army Corps of Engineers is turning its back on years old pledges to ensure set amounts of water they were promised to irrigate their fields. Environmentalists say the suit is without merit, but it's one more piece of the ongoing battle we'll look at in this long-standing battle over water and water quality.